Hi everyone. Now we'll talk about components in Angular. See, components are very important part in Angular. Whenever we are making any project in Angular, so all code will be done only inside the components. Without component, we cannot make any functionality, any feature in Angular. Note in Angular, in React and Vue.js, we are also using components to develop any functionality or feature. So first of all, we'll understand what are the components in general language. After that, we'll understand what are the components in Angular, how we can make components, how we can use them, how many files we have inside the component and what are the uses of these files. We'll understand everything about component in this part. And at last, we'll discuss some important interview question also. So let's understand what are the component in general language, you can say that, right? So see, components basically is a part of any system, parts of any system, you can say that. For example, uh, here we have a car and the old parts of a car are basically the components of that car. For example, AC, radiator, uh, mirrors, glasses, doors, tires, everything is a component of a car. Similarly, when we are making any application, let me open there. So its feature and functionalities are basically component of your application. For example, header is one of the uh, feature. So you can say that header is a component, then sidebar, uh, left sidebar is another component. Uh, right sidebar is another component that start a post area. This is the another component and uh, uh, that drop down area is the another component. And keep in mind, we can use one component inside the another component also. Uh, for example, uh, as I told you, like in general uh, language. So if we have a tire, then inside the tire, again, we have some another component. For example, it's uh, wheel and tube. These are the basically uh, component of the tire, you can say that, right? Similarly, uh, in your project, so when you are making a drop down, inside this drop down, we can have multiple component. So first one is this, for example, first one is this profile area, is the another one component, account details and manage, these are the another component. So I hope now you get my point, like what are the components? So whatever feature we are making in Angular application, either they are header, footer, sidebar, pages, everything is a component. Okay, so now the next thing is how we can make these components and how we can use them. So for that, let's jump on the code. And now you can see that already whenever we are creating Angular application, we have one component, which is app component. So in each of the component, you will find a name like this, that component name, then component dot uh, CSS. This is the another one file. Second file will be uh, component name, then component.html. Third file will be component name, then component.spec.tss. And last one is component name, then component.ts. So every component has these four files. One for CSS, another for HTML, third one for writing the unit test cases. Uh, please keep in mind, unit test cases are the different from manual testing and the automation testing. How we can write uh, unit test cases, I'll let you know in the in this series. And one more thing, unit test cases are always written by the developers, not by the QA team. And last one is .ts file. Here we'll write our logic and API call and whatever we want to do in the uh, TypeScript or JS. So now let's say we want to make one more component. How we can do that? So just simply write there ng generate and component and your component name. So let's say I want to make a component with the name of login. So whenever I'll just enter, it will create one more component inside the app folder because app is basically a root component or you can say that the parent component, all another component will be uh, created inside this. So let me enter and you will see there we have one more uh, component. And again, in this component, we have four files, uh, login.component.ts, component.html, spec.ts and ts file. So here you can see that we have written one line there, uh, login work. So how we can use this component now? How we can display its code on the, or its output on the UI? Okay, so for that, what you need to do, you have to do two things. First one, uh, you have to use this login component as a tag, as a HTML tag inside the another component, wherever you, wherever you want to use it. So let's say I want to use this login component in the app.component.html then just simply put there app then login and let's close it right so you can see that this is look like a 
uh, HTML tag or HTML element. Okay. Now the thing is how I know that I just need to write their app hyphen login and this then it will work. See, just go to the login dot component dot ts or whatever component you are making and there will be a selector. So just you just need to use this selector. Uh, let me just remove this inside the HTML tags like uh, inside the braces you can say that right so this is the one thing that you need to do second thing you have to import this component in the ts file also so there you can see that app dot component dot ts file so there there is a imports so here you have to import the login component so this is imported and now if you just see there login works so let me just make some changes inside the login component dot html so let me use your h1 tag and put there login component not components component and this is working so let me add there uh, some style background color and you can see that sky blue and this is perfectly working fine all right okay so the next thing is to create or to or uh, you can say that make the components you can use a short command also in previously we used their ng generate component then login or either you can use their ng g g for generate c for component and your component name so let me make the another component name with the let's say sign up and if i just hit enter you'll see there is a one more component like this so again i am just writing h1 tag sign up component and then let me add some style style background color let me make it red and now how can i how i can use this so where you want to use this uh, let's say we want to use it inside the app dot component dot ts so first we have to use its selector there so what is this selector name you can get it from there app sign up so let's use it like this and another thing we have to import it inside the app dot component dot ts file like there so let's simply make their sign up component and here you can see that sign up component is like this all right okay so there is a one more question can be asked in the interview can we change the component selector name for example in the app dot ts here you can see that we are using app dot app hyphen sign up so let's say you want to just make it sign up only like this you don't want to add their uh, app and hyphen how you can do that so for that first of all you have to change its selector also right sometime it will work and if don't work then start your see still this is not working so what you need to do you can restart your uh, ng server and then you can refresh your file or it will be automatically refreshed and this is completely working fine okay so in interviews they can ask what is the comp what are components then um, what is the command of making the components and how we can change the selector name right thank you so much for watching this, watching this part if you have any doubt confusion you can ask me in the comment section this is my paytm or gpay donation number thank you guys